Today, I'm gonna to talk about a set of earbuds that's specifically designed for clear voice calls, the Tautronics Sound Liberty 79. Nine point six eight miles, eight minutes, twenty eight seconds per mile, one hundred and forty one beats per minute for a total of an hour and twenty one minutes outside today. Uh, taking the Tautronics Sound Liberty seventy nine for a run. Now this is a set of earbuds that I've been using for a little while now, uh, especially because in today's environment we are spending more and more time in live streams, on Zoom calls, on phone calls than probably most of us have ever wanted to be on before. And I thought that this would be an interesting set of earbuds to test out. Now, in terms of disclosures, and before I get to my detailed thoughts on it, I do wanna go over how these earbuds got to me. Uh, I had made a video about the Tautronics Sound Surge 55, which is an over the ear set of um, headphones. Uh, and after Tautronics had seen that video, they reached out to me and said, hey, we got this other set of earbuds that could be really useful for this situation. And so they asked me if I wanted to give them a try. So they sent it to me for free. I didn't have to pay for them, uh, but they're not paying me to make this video or to use these earbuds at all. And uh, they're not gonna get a chance to preview any of my thoughts or any of my footage or any of my results. So you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So with the disclosures out of the way, let's talk about the Tautronics Sound Liberty 79. Now, Tautronics lists this as a set of earbuds that makes HD voice calls. And so that's like the main feature that they are emphasizing with this. Uh, they say that there is a smart or an AI algorithm that they've used to specifically tune the earbuds so that they reduce ambient noise, all the stuff that's going on around you and um, bring forward the audio portion of what you're listening to. Um, and so I thought I'd test it because I've been doing live streams on Instagram and twice a day, although that's changed up a little bit. I'm now doing the morning live stream on Instagram and an afternoon live stream on YouTube. And I've been primarily trying to keep it simple. For this setup, this video that you're watching now, the audio that you're hearing is coming from a DD microphone that's set on top of my camera. For the live streams, in an effort to keep things as simple as possible, I'm just using a phone or an iPad and popping in some earbuds and using whatever microphone is attached to that. I've also done a test where using the same two earbuds, I've compared just uh, holding a camera out, my iPhone out at arm's length. All right guys, so just doing a quick audio test. This is an audio test with the Jabra Elite 75T using Bluetooth to connect to an iPhone and seeing how the audio sounds. So here is just an example of how I might use this set of earbuds with uh, talking to a camera or talking on Zoom or a phone call or anything like that. And here is an example of the audio coming from the Tautronics Sound Liberty 79, giving you another example of what it would sound like. Again, using this Bluetooth microphone and the earbuds uh, with, uh, say, talking to a camera, using the front facing camera now on the iPhone 11 Pro. So, this is an example of what it sounds like, not going through a live stream, but just getting recorded directly. So, more of like what you would hear in a Zoom call or perhaps if you're using it on a regular phone call. So, hopefully, this is helpful for you guys in understanding or hearing, hopefully, the difference between the two different types of earbuds. Now, ultimately, from what I've seen and what I've, I guess, heard, which is more important, uh, is that there isn't a huge difference between the two, uh, both in quiet conditions, like in the iPhone footage that you just saw, or even slightly noisier conditions, like when I'm doing my live stream and the girls are up uh, and like TV's on and stuff like that. And so as I've switched between the two over the last several days, uh, probably about uh, five or six days that I've been switching between a couple of different sets of earbuds. Uh, no one's ever really noticed like, hey, these earbuds don't sound as good or this microphone doesn't sound as good as the other ones. So people, uh, at least from the Instagram and YouTube live streaming experience, haven't really noticed a difference. So I think that's pretty good, given the fact that these Tautronic Sound Liberty 79s are 50 bucks, and the earbuds that I'm typically comparing them against are the Jabra Elite 75T, which are $179, so more than three times the price. So these seem to be punching way above their weight class in terms of the voice call quality, so I think that's 
pretty cool. Now, what about the rest of the time that you're gonna be using these earbuds? For me, I'm gonna be using them as uh, I would normally would. And for that, uh, the, the user experience with these has been pretty good on a lot of fronts. Pairing them was super easy. Uh, the case is really nice and small. I love uh, smaller the better cases. I don't mind having to charge my earbuds after every single use, like every time I go running, uh, if it means I have a smaller case. Even though these days I don't really bring the case around with me, so I suppose the case could be giant and it wouldn't really affect me um, because I'm not really commuting anywhere or running a lot of errands where I'd be carrying the case. Usually when I go for a run, I put the earbuds in and the case stays home. But overall, I prefer a much smaller case. And this one also charges by USB-C, which I appreciate because then hopefully one day I can get rid of all my micro USB chargers and just have USB-C chargers and I guess iPhone chargers as well. Uh, but I appreciate this is USB-C. Um, getting them in, they're really lightweight earbuds and they go in pretty easily. They've got a little bit of a, like a little hook on the inside so it could stay inside the ear a little bit better. I haven't been able to do any real sweat testing on them because it's still kind of late spring or early spring, late winter here in Chicago. I don't have any access to treadmills. So I haven't been able to do a ton of sweat testing. And the running that I have been able to do in these, I've been running with a face bu uh, a buff covering my face partially just to have a face covering on, but mostly because it's still pretty cold here in Chicago. Uh, and that's been kind of holding the earbuds in. So I'm not really sure how well they would do uh, on a real thorough sweat test, but I can say that in terms of the fit, I've tried a couple of the different earbuds and tried to get the fit really dialed in. I don't ever feel like they're really snugly in there. So they don't give me a bunch of confidence in terms of what it feels like and what they would be like to run in under really sweaty conditions. If it's really hot where you are, or if you are a profuse sweater like I am, I'm not sure that I would recommend these for running. For the voice calls part, it's pretty good, but I don't know about it for the running. The other thing about it with running is two main things, is that the sound quality on these is pretty good. Good for the price. I wouldn't say that they're excellent. I wouldn't say that they're terrible. Uh, they get decently loud. Uh, the sound quality is pretty good, but I find that I have to really jam them into my ear in order to really get good true bass uh, or even any kind of dirty bass, which is something that I tend to prefer from an idiosyncratic perspective. So I really got to get them jammed in there to be able to hear good lows and highs. The stuff that's in the middle, you know, I can kind of like put them in there and they'll be fine and I'll hear it just fine. So if you're listening to a lot of podcasts or audiobooks, which is something I do spend a lot of time doing, um, that's fine. Um, but to really get good sound, you gotta jam them in there. At low volumes, the audio quality, even when they're really jammed in, isn't spectacular. Um, you kind of get kind of get to higher volumes for the sound to really start to feel good. Um, but it's about what I would expect at this $50 price range. So not really taking any points off of them for that. It's about what I would expect. The thing that I don't like about them as far as a running earbud goes is these days, because a lot of the more popular running areas in Chicago are closed and the areas that I would normally be running on are closed, I'm running on just regular surface streets. I feel very fortunate that I can still do that. But also I'm running very early in the morning, so I do have a headlamp on usually and a tail light on, uh, and I run in the bike path, so that way I can further avoid pedestrians, but it means I'm that much closer to cars. And so uh, I'd like to be able to hear more of the environment around me a little bit better. These don't have any sort of pass-through function, and at $50, I wouldn't really expect that to happen. Um, but the way that these work in terms of getting really good sound quality is that when you jam them in there, it creates like a very snug connection in your ear canal, and that's how the sound really starts to sound good. But it also means that it's keeping a lot of other sounds out, ambient sounds like cars, bikes, trucks, that kind of thing, the kinds of things that I wanna be hearing these days. And even at 4.30 in the morning, five o'clock in the morning in Chicago, there is still quite a bit of cars that are out there that I wanna keep an eye out for. And so not my first choice for running these days uh, are the Sound Liberty 79, but if you're looking for a set of true wireless earbuds that pair easily, uh, that have good battery life, have pretty good sound quality and are great to use on uh, voice calls or for video conferencing, this is a pretty compelling choice. I think a pretty decent value for what you're getting. 
The reason why I review these and I get requests to review these kinds of earbuds all the time is because I was really interested to see how good the audio, like the vo vocal quality would be because that's something that I usually never pay attention to when I review earbuds. But these days it seems suddenly a lot more important. Um, but also Tautronics is a brand that I've been trusting as far as Bluetooth earbuds have been going. They're like the first brand that I ever tested out when I first started playing around with Bluetooth earbuds uh, like four or five years ago. And they've always provided a pretty decent amount of quality and value for the price. And so um, a brand that I think that I would trust amongst like the like the sea of brands that exist on Amazon with, with all that have like similar sounding names and similar looking products. So something that you guys might want to consider if you suddenly find yourself on a lot more voice calls at home or taking lectures from Zoom meetings or work meetings or even if you're just doing a Zoom happy hour with a bunch of your buddies. So I think it could be a really useful thing to have. So that's my thoughts on the Tautronics Sound Liberty 79. Uh, let me know if you have any more questions about it in the comments down below. I'd love to talk to you guys about it more down there. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video and I will see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?